if you've read Robert Kiyosaki's books, then you'll remember the story about McDonald's and homemade burgers. Kiyosaki says very accurately that you can probably make a better burger than McDonald's because McDonald's burgers, they're not fantastic. They're not delicious. They are good enough and more than good enough. They are consistent. It's almost freaky how consistent McDonald's burgers are, if you think about it. They are cooked products. They are food products. But they are so consistent that they might as well be plastic dolls running off an assembly line. They aren't plastic, of course. They are pretty decent burgers. Nothing to shout about. But good enough. And you always know what you're getting. Every time you go to McDonald's, you know exactly why you're there. For speed, for convenience, for a degree of cleanliness, and a certain level of polite service. And that precise, precisely good enough burgers. Kiyosaki said that most people can make a better burger at home than McDonald's can. And that's probably true. Even if you don't already know how to make a burger, I'm sure you could easily learn it on YouTube and make a fantastic burger. But why do you not do that? So many reasons. First of all, you might not want to eat a burger all the time. Secondly, you don't have the ingredients at hand. Thirdly, you don't have a process for making burgers. So every time you make a burger, it comes out a bit different. Sometimes it's awesome. Sometimes it's not so awesome. Sometimes it's a bit too salty. Sometimes it's a bit burned and sometimes it's not grilled enough. So yes, sometimes you can make a burger that's much more fantastic than McDonald's. But you don't. And the lesson from this is that it's easy er easier to do heroic acts so you might once in a blue moon take a day off work and surprise your family with an outing and that's great sure that's better than nothing but then it might happen once twice a year probably even less maybe even less or you could have a standing arrangement where every Saturday morning you just take a walk around a nearby park. No fancy park, nothing interesting or exciting about it, just a regular public park. And you just take a couple of walks around the park. And that's it. Kind of boring, kind of mundane. But if you do that every Saturday without fail, you are cementing something in your relationship. And you are also doing something for your health. You could, again, once in a blue moon, make a heroic effort at the gym and work yourself half to death. So much so you might not be able to get up the next day and you feel kind of awesome and you 
you got something to brag about at the office on Monday. But it's probably doing harm to your health. It'd be better if you could just every day park your car further than it needs to be and walk that extra distance to the office. Boring, mundane, but consistent. And it will probably do more for your health than a once in a blue moon explosion at the gym. So what do we have here? What we see is that mundanity can be more heroic than heroic acts, which makes mundane actions heroic in their own sense, which then brings us into paradox. Mundanity is more heroic than heroism, which makes it heroism, but it's more heroic. So mundanity is a more heroic form of heroism. I cannot tell that to myself as I churn out this, what I call crappy vlogs. There's hardly any editing. I just sneak off a bit in front and at the back, I just click on a couple of auto improvement buttons in YouTube and there it is for your enjoyment. Am I being heroic? I don't know. I'm just doing it. See you later. Alligator.